Well, good morning, everybody. It is April 1st, and although it is Fool's Day, I am not pulling a trick. I wanted to show you what happened. It's been a week and a half of planting the bok choy, and I'm gonna kind of walk around the garden what I've been doing, what's been going on, what's happening, and so that you can kind of get excited and start seeing what what's really you should start expecting your garden when you have a healthy garden. So let's look at this. Okay, look right here. That is bok choy. Bok choy. Remember we planted this whole thing, so they should be coming up soon. There's some more bok choy. And then look at what we got here. That is not bok choy. That is a wandering strawberry that came from over here. <laughs> But that's okay, I will eat strawberries. I will allow them to kind of move around and do their thing because I love them. I'll just move them and cut them elsewhere. But we're gonna kind of cruise down our garden here and just kind of show some things. And I wanna point out a couple of things that are you can kind of expect. So let's look at this. I'm growing from a cutting. I wanted to get the actual plant that I have over there. And so I'm growing for cutting and look at that. It's starting to bloom. This is awesome. See right here, this beautiful, that's a garlic. That is a garlic. It's a wonderful, delicious, yummy garlic. But it's planted there not for eating, but for pest control and pest deterrent. And let's keep on going down here. Let me just show you what I got going here, right here. Here, I'm trying to grow some fruit trees from seed. And I wanna, I'm hoping that they will sprout. I know there's kind of a danger of that because it might not be true to seed unless it was a true to seed plant uh, fruit tree from the start. A lot of them are hybrid. Okay, let's go over here. This is where I planted some elephant garlic. Nothing coming up. I planted it from corms, which is essentially kind of like seed and <clears throat> not nothing really going let's go over here look at my nectarine tree here oh this is a prize enjoy oh she's a beauty she's a beauty look at that she's starting to produce you can tell i i pruned her not too long ago and she is just doing beautifully and here's an experiment i don't know if it's gonna work <laughs> is I'm trying some grafting. First time I've ever done it. So I'm gonna, I was gonna give it, give it a try and we'll see what happens. And then we're just gonna keep on journeying over this way. Here's some more things that I'm growing right here. See that? That is a butterfly bush left out all winter long so that I could give it a try. And here are some beautiful, almost ready grape starts. Woo -hoo! And then here's my here's my pet, my experiment. Look at this. Now notice I I intentionally left. I'll clean this all off once it really starts getting warm enough, so that it can really grow. But this is kind of a helps to protect it from the frost because I don't want it to really take to dye it back and then here's my rosemary left right next to the side of my house so that it could grow and be beautiful and harvest year round there's just flowers oh look at those beauties look at those beauties oh <laughs> yeah these are daisies that are going to be coming up here soon oh so so awesome i love this here oh see this is what happens when you get a really heavy frost even the tulips suffer but that i planted a bunch of them right along this row so that they would come up at the same time and look like candles but it didn't quite work how i planned but hey still working on it Look at those beauties. Oh, yeah, see a bunch of them right there. Beauty, beauty, beauties. All right, let's step on over to the the veggie garden and show you what's got going on over there. 
All right, here's my onions. Left in from last year, and look at them, already growing like crazy. Here's a strawberry and bee balm and a stray onion. <laughs> and then look at these beauties. Look at these beauties. <laughs> this is elephant garlic. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be selling that here probably in a year or two. But, oh, I'm so pleased, so pleased that they're doing so well. And this is my regular garlic here. And look at what I've got here. <laughs> oh my goodness. You just, you just never know what you're gonna get. And let's see what we got here. Let me show you here. Live on screen. Oh, the ground's kind of frozen, but let's see what we get here. I know what it is, but woo! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, yeah. Left in the ground all winter long. Still looking amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> so wonderful. All right, let's see. I planted some turnip the other day. And oh, might, might live. Let's see how this one's doing. The one that I left out and didn't protect it all. Nope. I think it was too cold for the turnips, even though they're supposed to be able to handle cold. That's why I always test a few first. Yeah, uh, look at this. Here's some, let's see, is this parsley? Yep, there's some parsley. <laughs> look at that. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, dang, she's so beautiful. There's some more carrots coming up. And th this is this is the joy. The joy that keeps on giving. <laughs> Okay, underneath here, I planted some onions. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe. See this right here? This right here. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah, see that right there? That is sunflower. And I got a lot of them throughout my garden. So I'll eat that sprout. Mmm, so delicious. So it looks like my, I don't know quite yet on my onions. Oh wait, no, actually these aren't onions, these are leeks. Oh, no, look right there. See, look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. So they are doing well. Planted them a couple days ago. Okay, let's check out the lettuce. I told you the lettuce can handle the cold. Well, looky there. Even though this is kind of frozen, Look at that. Oh yeah, we're gonna be eating the lettuce soon. There's some more all along here. It's just doing well. And then really down here, because it's kind of, somebody threw a banana peel out here. It's kind of been protected. Look at, that's really doing well. Oh, so beautiful. Now here, I tried planting a hibiscus early. Did not work. They definitely need the much warmer weather. And let's check on our peas. I don't see anything here on the ones that I've planted yet. But let me show you what I didn't plant. And it's coming up from last year. <laughs> you guessed it. Pushing up through all this mulch, I got some peas. Oh, see, nature wants to thrive. It wants to live. Oh, we just got to give it a chance. All right, now let's... Continue onward. If you notice this, this is garlic. And this is my potato bed. A little too early, but then look at this. I'm going to be covering all this with mulch here soon, as soon as I get it. But oh, look at that beauty. Look at that. That is my raspberry. Raspberry is doing well. And you can see I got it all covered, all covered with leaves. I keep telling you, that's my main mulch, his leaves. And so. That's what I do. And then all this cardboard, I'll break it down, I'll lay it down so I don't get things growing in the aisleways where I don't want them growing. And then I cover it with mulch. And every year I have to do it because it, it breaks down and it goes back to the earth. So that's a good thing. But that's the garden. I hope you enjoyed it, because man, I sure do. I'm gonna go in and eat this beast. <laughs> Look at that.
Look at that held up to my head. There's no trick photography here. That is a beautiful, beautiful carrot. All right, you all have a great day and we'll talk to you later.